So time to build a paper trike and of course what we need to do is build the frame and we're building the frame from rolled up newspaper which I think is fantastic. Now I talked about rolled up newspaper and making construction sticks out of it in video number 1165. So we're going to be using these things and they're incredibly tough. <coughs> they're tough, okay? But these differ from the sticks in 1165 only insofar as they have a layer of cotton on the inside and they have a layer of this stuff on the outside, which is craft paper or strong brown wrapping paper. Otherwise, they're made exactly the same way. That's our basic material, and I've got a bunch of them here. I've made 14, actually. And I've got a bunch of them here to make the trike frame. Now, we covered this in video number 1174, where I gave the details of the plan that we're going to use. We're going to use that plan, and we're going to construct a frame based on it using those paper sticks, which are rolled up newspaper. So that's what we're up to. Now, in order to make it, of course, we need a jig. We want a couple of bits, we want them to be true, we want them to be square, and to do that, we need something to assemble everything on. Now, a jig isn't that much, actually, and the overall frame's gonna be no more than about 1.2 meters, and you need it flat and wooden. Now, I've got this thing, which is my beat-up work table, and I'm going to use the actual work table surface of the jig, and later on, pull it to pieces when I've finished with it. For the materials for the jig, I'm gonna use this. Our local timber yard has a free-to-take scrap timber place. And if you look at that, you can see it's about as straight as a dog's hind leg, which is why it was free-to-take. But we can make use out of it. So we're going to use scrap timber and lay out a jig based on the plans in 1174. So let's do So that. here's my jig made exactly to the plans. So we'll have a better look in a minute. But what I've done is cut eight pieces for two sides of the frame. So we've cut four for each side. Let me get rid of them. one side. And then we can have a look at the other side. So there's the jig right there. It's a framework of wood. The measurements I've written on and they're taken exactly from the plan, like I say. This is 20 degrees, this is 30 degrees. To do that, you cut 15 degrees on each side and when they match up, there'll be a 30 degree angle. Here, 10 degrees each side and here at the top end, 30 degrees each side. Now, video 1175, we made our rear axle. Because we made our rear axle, we know what the wheel size is going to be, so I've done this at 30 centimetres because that takes my wheel size. If you're doing a different wheel size, then you need to come from the edge of the wheel here to the centre hub here, and that may change depending on your wheel size. So this end section that we've done is dependent on your wheel. Now I've put the whole thing out here on this long frame, which is 77.5 centimeters, but we're not gonna go all the way up there because what we're doing is making a box frame that takes most of the weight and then the projection bar for the rest of the weight. So I've gone 27.5 centimeters, leaving me half a meter to go to the actual, where the actual pedals are. Now that half meter is gonna be the bit you need to adapt to fit you. This is good for me. If you want to, to fit you, that half meter is where you get your play. But it doesn't matter at this stage. So we've got 27.5, 29, 48, 30, all laid out, and now we need to glue them together. Now glue them together, remember, they're pepper. So I'm going to use a cellulose glue, which is this uh, wood glue. The Gorilla Glue will stick this beautifully but remember there is no real strength in those joints all we're doing at the moment is fixing those joints so we can handle them we have to wrap them later now we're going to fix them so we can handle them and it makes it in a frame this stuff's awesome with only one slight problem it stains your skin and it sticks to everything so i've got some bits of plastic there that i'm going to put on the joints so that when i put those joints in there and that glue sets it will inevitably foam out of the joint but at least it won't glue everything to the table and i'll go and get a pair of gloves before my hands go black okay ready i'm with my gloves now we take a piece and i start with the longest piece actually line it up to the jig overlaying the plastic obviously and we need to register it in the jig now because the timber i've used is quite thin you could put a clamp in it or you could just do what i'm going to do and that is use a screw to lever it against the jig so you put a screw in there and that will hold it up against the jig And we've got a little bit of twisters free play. Then we take the next bit. 
offer it up to make sure it fits. Beautiful. Bit of glue on it and we continue like that until we've put that frame piece together. So when you've given that glue a chance to dry, you can take it out of the jig. Now remember, it is a bit delicate at this stage. I mean, it's okay to move it. It should hold together because the glue should have done its job. But taking and hitting it with a hammer is probably not a good idea. However, we need to make the seat section. And to do that, we do exactly the same thing. Now, I had a look and I realized I forgot to give you the dimensions of the seat section. So here's the plan for the seat section. do obviously is take this up and we lay out the jig in the same way for the seat section and do exactly the same routine and you'll notice here I've already chopped my tubes ready for the seat all I've got to do is take this out and make up the seat jig so when you take them out of the jigs and wrap them you'll end up with two like this and two like this and now we need to join those together the joint together is shown on the plan at a 55 degree angle like that and we join them the same way we glue them and wrap them now i've chosen fiber uh, carbon fiber to wrap them with but again it's what i have fiberglass will do fine even string will do fine you do need to wrap those joints though because those joints have no inherent strength remember the glue is just to hold them in place when you get them wrapped once you've got them wrapped they've got loads of strength now then the plans don't show the trusses so when we put those together like that, that joint at the end won't really stand you sitting in and out of it bending that way. So we do need to put some trusses in. So I'll put the trusses in as well and show you what it's like when those two are joined and the trusses are in place. So when you've done that, you'll end up with a couple of bits like this. Now what we need to do is space those bits apart and we're going to do that with these projections here. These are 10 centimetres long, they go on every node and we do the same routine. We glue them in and then we strap them in. <clears throat> so after a bit of standing this is what you get I'm actually being a bit <laughs> disingenuous there it's a lot of sanding and the quality of this is going to be directly related to how much sanding I do on it so I'm going to do some more sanding to clean it up more I found that if you put a bit of varnish actually on the um, carbon fibre it really makes it pop and brings out the brown of the craft paper that we've got here anyway I've got it so that that's the level of the floor this is where your seat's going to be, that's where the rear wheel is, and then here is where we're going to have the bit that comes out for the pedals. But that is the paper frame finished. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to subscribe.